Hey guys, we are here with a 2022 market update. We're gonna be talking about rates, home prices, and inventory. So Dom, tell us, what's gonna happen with home pricing? Indications show that home prices are probably gonna to continue to rise throughout the course of the year. Maybe not at the rate that they did over the past like 12 to 18 months, but probably still somewhat, and they'll you know, continue to increase. Uh, and we're seeing this in the market just because there's low inventory and there's still a ton of buyer demand out there. Uh, it's just causing home prices to continue to creep up. So it's a great time to take advantage of it if you are a seller in, in terms of you know, increased equity. And if you're a buyer, it's probably a great time to get in on the asset that just continues to appreciate year over year. Yeah, Dom, it is really interesting how we're in such a different market even this year than we were last year. Things just continue to appreciate. Um, and I think that's on buyers and sellers' minds. Another thing I think a lot of people are, are very interested in is interest rates. So, uh, Kellen, why don't you talk to us a little bit about that? Yeah, um, interest rates have increased slightly since last year, and they may go up just a little bit more this year as well. Um, but historically, they're still extremely low. I mean, if you think about the 80s, people were paying upwards of 18% in interest rates. So if you look at now the increase, it's maybe a percentage or so, and that's only like 75 to $100 a month. So it's still affordable for people to buy. Mm -hmm. But I don't wanna discourage anyone from buying because honestly, even if your interest rate increases and your mortgage goes up by 100 bucks, rental rates are probably going up 100 bucks too. So it right. still makes sense to purchase. Right, regardless. Yeah. Yeah, that definitely makes sense. So with interest rates rising, Brad, how do you think that's going to be affecting the inventory that we're seeing out there? Yeah, so that's a great question. We're hearing it quite a bit. Um, and I think one of the things that some people are, are seeing out there as far as on the economist level is you can have increasing interest rates, but that doesn't necessarily mean we're going to have more inventory because when we have increased interest rates, if the current homeowners that are looking to possibly sell or would sell, but then they're going to be moving out of a lower interest rate if they just recently refinanced over the last few years. So if they're going from a two, seven, five, three percent interest rate to a, in the threes to fours, like, I, we're not sure like if that's really going to open up much more inventory. But at the end of the day, we're going to start seeing more inventory come on the market, although it's going to be super competitive still. Um, like just, you know, recently that we're seeing in our own market there are multiple offers um, as far as from six offers to 23 offers and a lot of showing. So the demand is out there. Um, highly recommend, you know, if you're looking to sell, it's a great time to put it on. And if you're looking to buy, you definitely want to get in the game and buy. So what is it that you think is going to cause some of the inventory to uh, go up then? If you think maybe it's not the interest rates that's going to allow that to open up, what other avenues do you see the inventory rising? So the, I mean, one thing is we're, the new construction is, you know, being so underbuilt and it could take us, you know, what some economists are saying up to 10 years, eight to 10 years for us to catch up to new construction builds. Um, so we need more supply. So it's just a supply and demand. So, I mean, time will tell, but as of right now, like if you're looking to buy, start early, start searching, get a strategy in place and, and get connected with, you know, really good, realtor that can guide you through the whole process um, to get a jump start on it. Um, so you are competitive in the market. Um, and same thing with selling, you know, it's, uh, it's a great time to do both. You just have to have a plan. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. I think it, the agent has never been more valuable than they are now, both on the buying and the selling end, because it is such a complex market. That's a great point. You have to be really competitive. You do. Yeah. And strategic. Mm -hmm.